This Ridleyo is sponsored by Freekeen.com. May 6th, 2019, Winchester. Proposals for a zero aggression national defense protocol. Serving the peoples of an independent New Hampshire. And if they are listening, perhaps uh, many other beloved places. It is said uh, there are no hero nations. Perhaps no benevolent nation states at all. For a monopoly, it gets a, a little better than uh, standard oil was. <laughs> and in most instances proves itself to be uh, dramatically worse. It is also said that the country must have the capacity of defending itself. That goodwill and unoffending, or they can accomplish much, are not enough in the face of a rapacious enemy on the scale of a Brezhnev or, or a Kaiser. This, this, uh, uh, this oration will, will, uh, will aim to answer the question, what are the methods by which a small country, in this hypothesis an independent New Hampshire, might best defend itself from state-level predators without reliance on the ruinous and bloating expedient and of <laughs> the ru ru ruinous and bloating expedient of taxation or upon any act of aggression against any being with whom we are capable of detailed communication. In some ways this question has been answered in practice in real conflict and in uh, the most troubling predicaments. In others it is not uh, it is not even yet been uh, examined. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, perhaps I, uh, ha having only the, the briefest experience with warfare as a, as a visitor uh, to, to the, the Sandur peaks of Bosnia, am not the ideal figure to uh, articulate these concepts, uh, gathered primarily through lay study and simulation. But perhaps I can uh, at least commend, or in some cases recommend them to you, and to the consideration of a world which does not seem to lack in need of them. Mm. Upon those of us who lament the excesses and wastages of nation-state conflict, but not the necessities of self-defense, even for great groupings, it falls, uh, it falls to lay out alternatives against both uh, a large-scale warfare and craven appeasement. Uh, during the century lost, uh, we witnessed three times on three cruel but glorious battlefields spanning near the whole blue sphere, a dismantlement of three uh, great aggressor empires with the uh, with world conquering in their eyes. On each occasion, uh, more than the previous, it, um, uh, more than the previous, it was, um, it was these forcibly united states, which played an ever-increasing, sometimes even brilliant performance, in the fortunes of these martial, but strategically defensive endeavors. During each struggle, both cataclysm and tense impasse, their rulers presented themselves uh, the champions of uh, free thought, or at least uh, the freedom to engage in it. They were, it is true, these things only in the most relative sense. But when the killings and espionages had ceased, or at least ceased to be world-spanning wars, uh, a great burden was lifted uh, from the backs of a yearning and prostrate humanity. Suffering as it was under the privations of empire, 
of Nazi and neo-Bolshevik alike. I call them neo-Bolsheviks because, uh, well, there's a I suppose it was Brezhnev's mother who once asked him, uh, what will happen if the, if the Bolsheviks return? <laughs> yeah, but in the, in the event, um, uh, at the end of these uh, eight dozens of years, as the 1900s came to their close, uh, the American government stood uh, near everywhere triumphant, and for a time everywhere uh, restrained by its own uh, relative good sense. How did... Uh, how did this discontented state of martyrs come to pass and then come to such a rapid collapse? The cruel establishment of a sadistic and overpriced Amero empire inside the very regions which least welcomed it. Well, the answer may be more, more, more simple than any could imagine. It may be uh, that the ethically uh, higher ground of the, of the 20th century uh, America it came to pass merely because she was she was not for the most part of it a dominant military power and that this high ground was cast away in folly within the space of 15 years after the dominance that she attained in 1991 when was the last time it was said of a Denmark or a Bailey's, of an Ireland or a Norway. Uh, here is an expansionist bad actor. Here we must uh, we must group together and wage war on it for our very freedoms. It is uh, it is not been said because none had a sufficient military power and the ability to use it for conquest. And here then uh, is the only scheme by which a, a nation state may obtain uh, uh, that, uh, that contented condition whereby it may believably claim uh, uh, whereby, whereby it may believably claim no uh, adventuristic design upon its neighbors. Uh, but how uh, may we preclude this charming state of affairs? I must apologize. I, I have, uh, I have uttered that sentence as though it were, um, as though it were uh, a sarcastical. <clears throat> so it is a perfect time to check the apparatus and see if we are still uh, functional. I uh, see. There we are. <clears throat> Very well. well. Thank you for bearing with Winston during these. Uh, <clears throat> Unplanned uh, interludes. Now, uh, again, uh, back to our discussion, um, which, which I, I must confess has been uh, somewhat one-sided <laughs> up till now. But in any event, uh, how may we? How may we? I admit that seriously. But how may we preclude this charming state of affairs, which really is charming, uh, from becoming one of vulnerability? As we have seen. In Ukraine and Kurdistan of late, the militaristic occupations of generally unaggressive regions by powers other than the United States is not at an end. And uh, when we imagine the lamentable and sordid forays of that now imperial power, the number of regions she has, sometimes almost without cause, laid desolate these past two decades, we may be forgiven some apprehension and some wish to suggest ameliorative measures. Measures uh, which would be <coughs> of great benefit for her to use herself, but which would not uh, harm uh, any innocence if implemented. Perhaps uh, not any, even uh, any guilties. <laughs> yeah. uh, by itself, uh, this is not a complex project. It does not require novel experiments or dangerous testing. For uh, a solution has already been enacted in a time of a high crisis 
with profoundly inferior numbers. Well, the year 1940 saw the tiny Swiss Confederation surrounded by menacing and in some cases very capable armies. Plans had already been drawn up for the region's conquest and dismemberment. But the tiny state had erected systemic uh, yet decentralized barriers through which the aggressor nations could not efficiently see their way. Some of these measures lacked the clean ethical certainties which our proposal will attempt to provide for a post-independence New Hampshire, should or she ever come to be. But they are recounted here in both their glory and their ethical breach, if not their entirety. There was, firstly in Switzerland, a practice which would be deemed horrific and terrifying in nearly any European capital. Da, namely that of uh, maintaining the weapons of war. Ah, uh, in nearly every home, this afforded a deterrent against the Nazi strategy so well employed in Norway, namely that of seizing their centers of armament uh, at the outset of hostilities and before the outmaneuvered government at Oslo could even unite with its warriors. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, before the, the government uh, at Oslo could even unite its warriors with their weapons. There was at Geneva a systemic or partially systemic insurance that no potentate existed with the power to order a surrender upon all Swiss armed forces. When our Swiss government efforts began to pressure the army into docility and an appeasement of the Reich, General Guisson, holding a rank uh, only allowed for brief periods under the Swiss system, uh, simply gathered his officers and countermanded the orders before they could be issued. All broadcasts ordering a cess cessation of fighting were, he cautioned, to be treated as enemy propaganda, and the Nazi foe assailed, sniped, slitted, and finally punched, presumably until the last Swiss man in arms lay choking under his own blood. This countered the Nazi tactic of pressuring one or two key figures at the centers of power into dishonorable acquiescence. But uh, there were other measures of an opposite, yet a complementary character. Helvetians if, it, if we may say it that way, uh, were, were, um, uh, if they were wishing to trade with Berlin and its empire, uh, were not restricted. Trains from, from uh, Germany were allowed uh, to pass unmolested and even uninspected through the mountain federation. Geneva would countenance no allied interference with these policies and, whether intentionally or not, subsequently faced multiple bombardments by British and American aircraft, extinguishing over 30 of their airmen during the course of the war and capturing many more. I have read, but cannot now confirm, that restrictions were imposed against Swissmen by the Swiss government uh, uh, wish, if they were wishing to fight for the Axis or Allied causes. Uh, but, uh, but I can, uh, uh, but as I pointed out, I cannot uh, uh, confirm this independently. The, the, the service uh, in uh, Swiss, uh, the Swiss uh, National Armed Forces uh, uh, has been a, a requirement. <coughs> These forces are not under-equipped nor lacking in government fundings. Again, these measures uh, were those of, uh, of neutrality and independence, or not necessarily of liberty. 
Our aim for the purposes of, uh, of this proposal will be all three. Uh, neutrality, uh, independence, uh, liberty. But, uh, but the Swiss accomplished uh, the first two um, of these important goals against the Nazis, much as they have, as they have largely done during the decades uh, before and after. And we are fortunate to have the additional precedents set uh, by Costa Rica in her time of nearly greatest peril. When the nuclearist Americans, their totalitarian Soviet foes, and uh, Sandinista beachheads uh, seemed to beset her upon all sides. She did not even have an army, and maintained herself uh, through the d diplomatic neutrality methods alone. Thus, we may be assured uh, that it can be done, and done with less uh, than what Switzerland did it with. We may, of course, imagine uh, the Costa Ricans were lucky uh, that the uh, challenges of distance limited the Soviets, uh, that the wise restraint uh, kept the Reagan regime friendly, and that many of the, uh, the Swiss expedients uh, should, uh, should be avoided uh, to spare taxpayers. There are uh, other measures, less tested but less expensive. Uh, even perhaps of no cost at all uh, to the public treasury. To, uh, to explore them, we must hypothesize into one possible New England future and uh, gaze through the gloomy but insightful mists of Irish history. Let us imagine uh, an unpopulated and innocent small state, uh, perhaps merely a state at present, Conjure, if you are willing to suspend disbelief, an independent New Hampshire, having ejected itself on friendly terms with a Washington empire uh, gone the way of the general secretaries. Uh, it happened to Estonia. Uh, perhaps it can happen to us. Uh, there were general secretaries. Uh, they ruled this small state, and then one day uh, they were gone. All retired. <clears throat> um, imagine further. Uh, perhaps it can happen to us. Imagine further, and it is, uh, it is not difficult to imagine. This tiny and novel nation, accompanied, uh, encompassed by uh, united principalities of an authoritarian disposition, with, uh, with designs upon the sovereignty of the newborn entity. It is again not challenging to foresee a circumstance by which our relative uncomplicated access to firearms or resistance to some external tax or another might become pretext for meddling and worse into the affairs of the free state, now free in more of a name, such has already been a pretext for invasions of a kind in the form of, uh, of constables uh, from the slave state of, uh, of Massachusetts, uh, largely uh, un unaccustomed to our laws and ways they have without leave across the borders, north and monitored for later prosecution the lawful purchasing behaviors in New Hampshire of their own stifled citizenry. Imagine a scenario, however unlikely, in which this uh, minor and selective threat is, uh, is multiplied by the thousands. New Hampshire's mere uh, status uh, as an independent uh, um, republic, if that is what it chose to be, would be apprehended to some degree as a menace. As the temporary independence of Rhode Island was viewed and subdued by the early Federalists, there would be uh, pressures placed upon her to affix herself with systems of a type with which she has had much experience about little gain. 
straying further toward the fantastical. Let us, uh, let us never le nevertheless, for the sake of discourse, imagine this Slovenia-sized entity with its population, perhaps only uh, at that time two millions, were, uh, were threatened or had reason to expect armed state-level intervention at the hands of the larger system. are no longer restrained by the niceties of courthouse procedure and the intervention of federal bureaucracy, uh, perhaps driven in part uh, by a legitimate crisis, of which the world is never in deficit. Uh, the forces of this Northeastern Union, which we will call it for purposes of this exercise, would number perhaps uh, uh, 50 millions. Uh, no, you say, oh, this could never happen. For New Hampshire could never be independent. Admittedly, the prospect is more likely in a Catalonia or a Kurdistan. Ah, so, if you wish, apply these concepts uh, uh, to them instead, or to the... Uh, the nervous uh, Baltic and Balkan states, which have uh, somewhat recently seceded, uh, but not yet become completely confident in their own security. If we assume, for the sake of argument, that these scenarios will not happen in New Hampshire, that she will never even be her own nation, that does not mean it does not have applications. Uh, for the immediate world, even for the benefit of the great empires at Washington and Beijing, but especially for the exposed in tiny republics. I implore our brothers and sisters at Tallinn and Seoul, at Taipei and Helsinki, apply these methods while there is still time the Federalists will not forever shield you from these nearby menaces. Maniacal, so recently, in comparison to the immensity of history. And if they do, uh, during, uh, during their own continued slide into authoritarian excess, then your consort with them may be at your own peril. In any event, it is well said, a man uh, should write what he knows. And what could one possibly know better uh, than his own home? <clears throat> so, what recourses uh, could the tiny new nation of our speculative fiction avail herself without resorting to military taxation, to entangling alliances, or to cruel behavior against the uh, unhappy, uh, but largely innocent peoples inhabiting its uh, potential aggressor? The answer is many. Uh, these are formidable, and in some cases even uh, commercially prosperous. They would be well deployed now uh, by uh, any nation against aggressors. Uh, but the smaller the country, the bigger the need for their implementation. At, uh, at first look, the position of this, uh, this tiny state in this hypothesis would seem grave. Its fate would, uh, to some extent, be a question of what costless measures had already been undertaken and which impediments to defense and global sympathy had already been removed. It is uh, uh, this last concept on which we may dwell most initially. And it, like so many other things, or like so many other, so many other things, uh, may be summarized as the need to flank or cast down uh, nearly all the barriers to individual constructive action. We have seen 
of the Swiss refusal to impose trade restrictions upon commerce with the world helped secure her so well. The, uh, the most important entity for a free state to enthusiastically trade with would be the one uh, threatening it. This would procure uh, the maximum disruption the maximum disruption in the um, uh, and, and internal disquiet should that body choose to sever such concourse uh, by the siren. Next there is the contrivance of transparent, friendly, a governmental uh, and individual discourse with the media organizations of every foreign and local entity of their easy access to these lands and uh, in the event of invasion their cause. On my camera wielding visits to the shattered Herzegovine municipalities of Joplina and Mostar it was the uncanny but apparently genuine, welcoming and friendly spirit of the largely uh, Muslim and Croat survivors. Which caused me to believe, uh, perhaps uh, sometimes too much, the official narrative of their, uh, their causes against Belgrade. How much more we could do here with a, a cause is so much less tainted. Dissuading of incursion would be uh, the, the presence and redundance of many means by which effective and decentralized communications might be maintained with the outside uh, universe. The existing arteries of publication appear to have had some effect on the intruding, uh, the intruding Massachusetts constables monitoring our firework customers. These conduits are are not to be relied on, and systems of backup must be contemplated. Of these I have attempted my own necessarily small measures uh, in the form of a, a ham radio, a regimen, and, um, and equipping. I need not be alone. Meanwhile, new and better measures are surely in the pipe, such as the hopeful attempt at an alternate internet in Manchester, known as uh, a free state mesh dot net Mr. Uh, Mr. Simon from NH Common Sense once put it thus the surest means to not fight is to not offend a culture dominated by easy umbrage as Western society currently is and other civilizations sometimes are to an even uh, greater extent, I may add to this stratagem an element of delicacy. Perhaps it might be uh, all we could do merely to counterbalance uh, with our charms and the um, <coughs> our, <laughs> our charms and the uh, Mr. Simon, the civilizations of protectors might be all cut cut to counterbalance with our charms and the absence of aggressive acts. Uh, those unmet demands uh, that we commit aggressive acts ourselves. Uh, there might be there might be insistences uh, that we use our civic apparatus to outlaw, to raid, to steal, and perhaps even to silence the non-aggressive just as they have been attempted against Switzerland and her banking industry during the Second World War and after, just as they have been attempted against Mr. Mr. Assange and his, uh, uh, his journalistic endeavors. What if a United Nations Commission or Council were at our time of greatest regional peril? applying pressures and waxing considerate toward uh, the Northeastern Union. This and the causes which might be behind it do not heavily tax the imagination. Uh, why aren't you a member of our uh, organization?
Uh, 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 shouldn't you be sending us uh, tributes? Uh, did you really allow one of your businesses to uh, to sell a, a forbidden surveillance device uh, to a Kurdish guerrilla who might at any moment try to use it in the liberation of her homeland? Why, uh, why aren't your ammunition salesmen uh, uh, forcing every customer uh, to submit their fingerprints and reporting them to a global database? You must stop these unsurveilled transactions and deputize your people into the enforcement process through taxation and the uh, intimate regulation of weapon shops. New Hampshire's uh, defense freedoms, even the modest ones we already have, would occasion purchases by the masses, some foreign, and not all of whom would possess with responsibility. There could, uh, there could uh, be demands for a concord, uh, the concord, <laughs> concord, a crackdown on their sale, if she had, as we hope she will have, drug freedoms, modestly but definitely beyond the scale of a 2010 Portugal or uh, Amsterdam, uh, then many uh, a weeping Canadian football mum could be uh, displayed before the public, demanding a resumption of prohibition inside this wicked hive of personal responsibility and customer choice. For uh, her beloved Timothy went to the foreboding free state neglected to pack with him his caution, and made the wrong choice. Soon after, perhaps, he is remembered as the victim of our freedoms, and the entire the new nation his undoer, perhaps to be met with sanction for its tolerance. Uh, the scenarios such as these do not seem to have uh, unfolded in obvious large scales. Uh, thus far, in the current uh, state of New Hampshire freedoms in assault weaponry, or the narcotic tolerance seat at Lisbon. We may hope that they would, uh, that they would not unfold in a less restricted, independent New Hampshire. But precaution is a better guarantor than hope. And for our scenario to be instructive, it should be severe pressured by the UN, threatened by the NEU, it would be well for us to already have ameliorative countermeasures in place, and now is the time to entertain them. I was having a discussion, um, well, it was really more of, a, of an email discussion with uh, Anna Stanitz, who, uh, whose father led the, uh, the initially secret a Slovene referendum of, um, I believe it was a, a 1990, perhaps a year earlier, I, I'm, not, I'm not certain. And she said uh, that the, uh, there is never a moment that is too soon uh, to contemplate the potential uh, uh, difficulties and opportunities provided by new independence, newly won. As she said, this was particularly the case with monetary affairs. Yeah, but we are, we are going adrift. We are going adrift, and must, we must, uh, return uh, to our um, affixation. Um, so, uh, it was made in this Slovenia. Slovenia is instructive uh, because, uh, because uh, in 1989, uh, no one. Uh, was really even talking much about freedom or independence, and uh, uh, two years later they had it. So there you go. Men, <coughs> anyway. Um, mm, seems to be message about precaution is better guarantor than hope. If pressured by the UN, maintenance by so uh, mm, countermeasures. It would be well to have a, to already have ameliorative uh, countermeasures in place, and uh, now is the time to entertain them. For Every danger and every foreign demand, there is a, a novel, a counter-expedient. 
one uh, not yet tried in full by any state. The maintenance of high reputation throughout the solar system entire uh, could be effected by enhancing and nurturing our tourist culture. Tourist culture. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> um, tourist culture. Uh, that of welcome uh, to the welcomable. Uh, this is uh, a long been interfered with by uh, the federal regimen of uh, immigration crackdown and welfare enticement. It often, uh, it often seems that all the worst are lured in and subsidized. All the best are roadblocked and smothered with vexatious expenses, maddening paperwork, and unresponsive controllers. The world. Uh, should be uh, uh, the world should be let in easily, given the fullest access to our liberties, uh, but handed uh, no alms. The impoverished masses of Mississippi are already at liberty to di dilute us with destitute immigration. Uh, but when uh, did we uh, see them here lost? When did we? even here, of their presence here once. They are not here in any noticeable or bothersome way, but even if they were, uh, we would be wrong in, uh, in rooting out, rooting them out, root, rooting them out for their origin, or persecuting uh, all who might be them. So it is with our globe. We need visitors and immigrants. The more who have adopted or toured this bastion and learned its, um, learned its charms, the more will feel righteous fury if it is assailed. Our glowing green hills, now barely noticed, could almost as soon as we wish it become the primary destination for, uh, for those Manhattan stationed ambassadors, of which there are many. Our glowing green hills now, barely noticed again, uh, could uh, almost as soon as we wish it become the primary destination for those Manhattan stationed ambassadors, of whom there are many, and from whom we would want goodwill. There is uh, no major reason, save our laws, uh, why it should not be so. Where else but the, the free state, shorn of its malum prohibitor, would they be uh, officially allowed the forbidden but unharmful patronage of brothel, of ecstasy consumption, and of peaceable rocket launcher practice? If any abuses uh, those freedoms, to the initiated harm of others, uh, then let uh, them be dealt with for that, uh, not for the being here, not for their undertaking of the undertaking of the victimless act. We have, uh, we have seen how the relative freedoms and openness of the small Gulf Emirates have kept or helped to keep them in the friendly sentiments of Wahhabist ruler and revolutionary uh, dictator alike. Over the long, dark passage through the Middle Eastern night, the freest of them, perhaps, bearing the best. Every autocracy requires, and perhaps uh, preserves, an outlet. <clears throat> These expedients are ours to undertake. All that is needed is the will uh, to tolerate. <clears throat> But ultimately, it may be wealth, not license, which is the surest fortification against hostility, or at least uh, the root thereof. Over the decades that have uh, elapsed since the end of the 19th century, the number of wealthy countries which have faced ruin at the hands of a war-starting assailant is greater than zero. Uh, but it is not great. Rich neighborhoods, as they say, are generally the best defended from looters 
and police occupations after a hurricane. For the occupants have the most to lose. So it is on larger scales. Worlds of humans, particularly moneyed humans, will not long countenance uh, the reduction by warfare of those who appear like them. Uncriminal and successful of their dress or bearing, and it is the the attainment of these uh, this uh, this nation-spanning prosperity, uh, the the attainment of this nation-spanning prosperity is not a mystery in the methods of its achievement. A dramatic reduction in the number of laws and regulations limiting commerce being the obvious and simple expedient. Mm. Mm. Uh, this could be pursued, and is being pursued, bringing our shire, uh, theoretically at least, further into the sunlit, uh, sunlit uplands of Swiss pattern prosperity. In the absence of it, Groups of citizens or individuals would have within their power uh, to mainstream the practice of defying or ignoring such trade and commerce laws as are imposed. So often, without the protection of any clear victim, and in a small state where wealth reaches deeply, so too grows the capacity of each individual and private organization to procure and maintain the costly expedience of heavy uh, but unrootably dispersed armament. The, uh, the preceding has been uh, the candy, and uh, now uh, to the matter of the club, built, we may hope, so well that it is never used. The means uh, of national yet personal defense and counter-attack about to be articulated below would be of, of little value against a native force or one perceived as possessing the aura of legitimacy. Those are best combated with civics, with publicities, and acts of civil disobedience. Uh, they likely would not work, for example, if deployed by Catalans against the authoritarian, but uh, not, we hope, a genocidal uh, government at Madrid. And they would not work here in New Hampshire against uh, the existing federalist powers uh, which, which rule her. Such potentates would likely only be enhanced by the application of measures such as these, which are probably of value only against the hostile foreign invader perceived as such by the plurality. Most of these measures could be more broadly covered by the simple proclamation a stop restricting things, you lamentable uh, boneless busybodies. <coughs> We do not know which martial salvation may come to the table as a result of some seemingly unrelated liberalization. We do not know which martial salvation may come to the table as a result of some seemingly unrelated liberalization. Uh, but we do know, we, uh, we do know this. At its current condition, New Hampshire has no gun laws of any great consequence. For most intents and purposes, only federal restriction limits firearms here. Uh, perhaps not coincidentally, she has, as of 2017, the lowest homicide rate in uh, the U.S. These federal laws uh, surely make our own, uh, our own rate higher uh, than it would otherwise be. They could simply uh, be not replaced. 
after losing them through independence. <laughs> but uh, former state representative Don Gorman reports that within his memory, you could also procure dynamite here with little effort and from our uh, general stores. Today, excuse, please excuse, not surprisingly, Today not, surpri today, not surprisingly, there is a flurry of forms, uh, competencies, and licenses which tend to accompany this elderly let, uh, yet cautionable technology. And nevertheless, there are many peaceful uh, and constructive purposes to which uh, it is still put by specialists uh, in peacetime to which it was put uh, by the masses in recent generations and which it is uh, denied them now. The rapid creation of holes, similar reductions of vexatious barriers and vegetations, and uh, the widespread presence or readiness of these devices for use in the national defense may be apprehended without contemplating cruelty instrumental in the uh, instrumental instrumental in the, the rapid construction of hiding places unforgoable in the denial of bridges which an invading force might approach or uh, the reduction of unpeopled structures which he is known to have seized exploding weapons like any other have their place in just wars of self-defense. Having that and peaceable applications, their unrestricted or almost unrestricted access could and, uh, and should return to the peoples of New Hampshire. Um, so it could be with perhaps all objects and devices possessed of any legitimate and constructive use. The restricted technologies of warlike aircraft, of disguisable firearms, and perhaps even anti-aircraft missiles within certain uh, obvious limitations, all or largely all, could be brought out of the government monopolies and back into the light. <coughs> uh, where they are... Uh, where they are restricted by federalistic prohibition, uh, the restriction could be ended by independence and not replaced. Where already vetoed by state or local statute, the prescription could be rescinded or lapse into benign zero enforcement. On the eve with the final battle with his arch rival Hannibal, uh, Scipio Africanus the Elder was said to have captured Carthaginian spies, only to grant them a tour of his army and its works, and then uh, send them back to the enemy unharmed, perhaps to, dis uh, uh, perhaps to demoralize perhaps to procure his objective of an unconditional surrender. On a less ambitious scale, if your military secret is, uh, <clears throat> uh, there are 30 different kinds of weapons that our people have uh, and are welcome to have, uh, which no other rank-and-file citizen of any nation is allowed and here are thought to be seventy thousands of our um, citizens who possess one of these weapons, uh, then that is a secret uh, well to be shared. Its promulgation becomes a deterrent of its own. The loathsome experience, uh, expedience of centralized military secrecy dramatically less required. Mm. Her position is vexatious to assail, or not uh, not because anyone is in ignorance, but because uh, near everyone is informed or in arms. 
it is likely you have often witnessed or been invited to witness mm, the uh, one moment, one moment. Uh, Winston will continue. Winston will continue. Oh, yeah, we are invited to witness the presentations of centralized government power in the form of martial parades or aviation aviationistic displays. You may have noticed or read of their costly drills, maneuvers, and seizures of land for the purpose of effecting the same. But when was the last occasion upon which you were privileged or perhaps annoyed to endure such spectacles comprised of non-taxing voluntary associations of private bodies or of uh, or of neighborhoods aimed at uh, at achieving the cap the capability of a truly local defense uh, you have not seen it in New Hampshire because if it were endeavored while under federal rule uh, there would be a generally hysterical uh, reception a, uh, a Washington investigation and uh, probably a swallowing of its organizers into the steel boxes of the local uh, prison outpost. Uh, there are, um, it is true, individuals and organizations that way we may view as, as questionable who have endeavored to uh, team with others for martial and often overhyped purposes. There are also uh, heroic and impressive private organizations uh, such as that of Mr. Perot, rescued from the Iranian revolutionary terror, his captured employees, while the federal administration found itself flummoxed and bloodied in the liberation of its own. When was, uh, when was the last time uh, an American militia uh, dropped uh, a civilian maiming bomb in anger every quarter hour or ran a gulag of torture chambers uh, around the planet as America's once respectable uh, government and military has done? I uh, do not believe my quote is quite exact, but if I recall, uh, the old lion whose accoutrements I mimic uh, once said that uh, torture and cannibalism were the only expedients that the, the Christian nations were able to deny themselves uh, during the First World War. Uh, but that means that they denied themselves these things they don't deny themselves these things now. Anyway, when was the last time one uh, a private militia in the United States uh, the last time one committed any act of horror whatsoever against our population or any other? Surely the date would fall within the last hundred years. But in this contest the private solution is hardly competing Oh, with innocence. The benefits of private defense organization and its opening to competitive allowance uh, may be pronounced. How would any potential foe facing a decentralized collection of uh, defense organizations and characters ever find a decisive head to sever? Decisive head to sever? What is head? Uh, not off, uh, uh, or pressure, or pressure. Uh, the head, head, the head uh, to uh, the, the sever or pressure. How would it be found? And how would uh, how would this state ever uh, ever develop as Washington is developed, a cruel and globe-trotting death machine uh, such as the world, uh, perhaps soon the whole planetary system, uh, now endures. Again, the agency of defense and the right of associations, along with those of martial possession, could be reestablished in a small free nation. 
providing without taxpayer bankrollment an additional deterrent against mischief. A conjure, if you aspire, a standing policy in which the chief executive, assuming we were still burdened with one, articulates and endorses the, uh, the individual and spontaneous actions to be taken against any hostile takeover, a hostile take, <laughs> hostile invader. Uh, imagine she merely uh, delivers uh, a speech. Mm or establishes a pre-existing directive and policy. Well, this can be affected with ease, even from hasty exile, or immediately previous to capture. Such an invocation would surely have an electrical effect against all. An electrical effect uh, on all who call uh, the new nation home. There is Virtually no, virtually no limit to the number of feats uh, that a patriot can endeavor. If she knows that the whole or even a plurality of her nation is behind her. It need not be nearby. It need only be availed in spirit and perhaps official articulation. Returning to the latter, uh, imagine further a constitutional or a statutory prohibition mm, uh, nullifying in advance any surrender directives, as General Guisson reportedly did when he gathered his officers in the valley where Switzerland was born. Mm. The executive uh, perhaps could be tasked with articulating you know, publicly uh, the basic uh, suggested course of resistance, probably from exile or hiding, but the stand-down decision could be delegated constitutionally to each combatant uh, and commentator. Perhaps an official a New Hampshire military uniform could exist and be employed. Oh, creepy. Be employed to exist, ah. we exist, uh, exist and be employed and be employed by those, however independent, wishing to purchase one and maintain lawful combatant status. Those willing to risk execution upon capture would have the option of fighting in plain clothes as the Dutch resistance usually did during the Second Great War, and to the human force or collection of forces which we would be able to array against the aggressor, aggressor uh, perhaps it is best to think in terms of the small and untrained rather than the massed and heavily drilled. An American soldier once remarked uh, that the Afghan peoples who have, uh, who have so flummoxed their centralized army are surprisingly fragile. While we may and should decry their cruel internal treatments of their own countrymen, should we not also learn from them as a wise strategist learns from any counterparty Casting aside where ethics dictate the poor examples they have set, while showing consideration toward those auspicious, though infinitely different from the Swiss and perhaps all of the other ways that matter, they share uh, the lack of recognized central authority a dispersal of arms and some tendency toward neutrality or friendliness toward all who are not perceived as invading them. Do these characteristics of unconquerability offset or do they complement their other conventional deficit 
the usual lack of well-trained or properly organized military, other than that created from outside. When they have attempted one, it is tended to be uh, outmaneuvered by the tribes, or crushed from outside. This may be an indication that the mechanisms on which to affix a free state's preservation are not those of a substantial military, or even heavily trained individuals, but those of a different, of a different question. Perhaps it is uh, wisest to ask, what could be done with what we already have? Um, uh, what could be done with what would already be here? We uh, have seen how Ireland was not conquered until she was united. How the same was true of the ill-fated factions that gathered against Caesar under Vercingetrix. We have seen how Yugoslavia, with its forward convention uh, of defensive, was reduced for the loss of only uh, 200, uh, two, two hundreds uh, of German soldiers in 1940-41. Uh, but subsequently, uh, perhaps half, uh, half, uh, half reconquered, half reconquered in 1943 through the use of initially disorganized guerrillas, and in the 1950s, unintruded upon by a hostile but wary Marshal Stalin. Lastly. And perhaps most disgracefully, how the lawfully constituted French rulership actively conspired against its own population to place French manhood into the service of the Nazis, uh, when they could have, uh, have easily evacuated abroad, as nearly all the other defeated governments did, and there undertaken the reduction of the German regime from Algeria. Perhaps these, like the Pashtuns, have taught us that in one sense uh, we fall united and stand uh, divided. They may be known for many bad things, but they will perhaps never be known for being easily conquered and uh, then collaborative with an occupier. The concentration of power is sufficiently great uh, so as to provide an option of imposing self-surrender or stand down is a concentration too great. And it may be that a well-trained, highly equipped body of organized combatants, as, as the French military was, if led in any detail by a single commander-in-chief or even system, is a dramatically inferior experience, uh, um, ex expe expedient, a dramatically inferior expedient uh, when compared to untrained but decentralized resistors. Imagine a water-like and, uh, and formless mass of local humanity, each individual able to choose if they wish from an anonymously sourced and blockchainable list of preferably non-lethal, physically painless targets to be struck with demolitions, with electronic instructions, with low-tech drones, perhaps even uh, with face, um, fa face pies. <laughs> For an authoritarian figure of fears, public humiliations and indignities above nearly all other things, uh, could they, rather than bloodshed, become the means of its vanquishment? <coughs> uh, all uh, friends of the accosted region could uh, contribute to the list, officially sanctioned objectives could be detailed, or perhaps only outlined in constructive uh, vagueness. All friends of uh, vagueness, oh, uh, restraints could be articulated, uh, though perhaps not well enforced, 
against excess. These could be voted up and down by the chain's community, which could easily be limited by user agreement and expulsion regimen to those who renounce the impairment of bystanders. Or false flags attempted by the intruding state-level actors would likely, uh, without much effort, be shown unsanctioned by the pseudonymous but public record of planning. Outside, a world simultaneously enraged and entertained would be drawn to spectate the unfolding drama of resistance. Uh, much uh, as the, uh, the world uh, spectated the, the resistance at Catalonia in, 1970, uh, in uh, 2017 as a, uh, an off-the-cuff example. <clears throat> uh, each, uh, each unpaid soldier, neo-guerrilla, or uh, expedient, untroubling on their own to, the, to an aggressor, might in aggregate become formidable and wildly unpredictable obstacles to dominance. An unspoken facet of the proposals thus far outlined is the unusual preponderance of individual, uh, not just group action and latitude. We have seen how the so-called uh, salesman covert operation of Mrs. Sabo around 1944 was so uh, effectively detected and uh, undone by the Germans in France and so many of its operatives captured and tortured in part because of the operation's large size and interconnectedness. And we have seen how it took the special operations executive nearly a year to get her to her first mission um, it is not uh, the, in the nature of, um, of groups, however small, to be rapid in movement or unified in action. Those sorrows which afflict bunchings are well known and put to good use by hostile occupiers. The seizure of hostages by aggressing powers and the many ways in which uh, these are used against their respective selves, the dramas and breakdowns in interpersonal congress, uh, the inevitable affairs of heart, uh, so greatly to be respected, uh, but uh, so easily used uh, for manipulation. In peacetime it means, and is said so often, uh, I hate my boss, and it is time I quitted my job. In wartime it means, death. As Sinclair Lewis once declared, quote, under a tyranny most friends are a liability. One quarter of them turn reasonable and become your enemies. One quarter are afraid to speak and one quarter are killed and you are die with them. Uh, but the blessed final quarter, he says, will keep you alive. Unquote. It may be that the, the individual, acting within broad parameters and without reliance on close cooperation or official resupply, um, and necessarily limited of scope or scale, but also of encumbrance or micromanagement, has been neglected in the study of counter-invasion expedients. More likely, it has been uh, um, underutilized in the first place. We have few tales from history of an organized resistance to invasion <clears throat> centered on the initiative and independence of the individual. Uh, the frontier of occupy... The franch... Frontier... <laughs> Je crois... <laughs> of occupied Belgium uh, come close, uh, though numbering surely under a thousand and perhaps under a hundred, may have made the difference between victory and defeat for the Allies. 
their very presence. Uh, more often, uh, just the rumours of it drove uh, the uh, the Deutsch Soldaten uh, lunatical with panic and murderous rage. A sentiment he used to forfeit himself victory in an almost unlosable war. In one case, burning a medieval library in its ancient manuscripts uh, to retaliate against the mere rumor of a terror attack. <clears throat> I, um, mm, the terror, you may not, uh, I have provided insufficient background uh, on the terror, and I will, uh, I will endeavor to make it all good over the next uh, 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 the 90 seconds. Uh, the France Terror were uh, <coughs> um, yeah, the individuals in, uh, in the World War I who um, sniped at German soldiers from behind the lines. Uh, largely, um, uh, oftentimes, uh, the, the sniping was actually uh, done by Belgian army snipers operating within the rules of war, uh, but the Germans uh, perceived there were great numbers of guerrillas. And there were apparently a few. Uh, <coughs> anyway, uh, returning to the um, returning to the uh, so against the yeah, again they, they would retaliate uh, against the, the the mere rumor of a, ter a terror attack. Je suis désolé, je ne parle pas bien français. Medieval library. This immediately, this immediately began to turn the world uh, sentiment um, uh, clabbered, and it was that sentiment which brought the Kaiserist ruin in 1918. Uh, G. K. Chesterton wrote in 1919, uh, a frontier is, uh, is emphatically not a person whose warfare is bound to disgust any soldier he is emphatically uh, not the type about which um, about um, the type uh, about which a general a soldierly spirit uh, feels uh, any bitterness he is not a periphidus or barbarous or fantastically fiendish foe on the contrary a frontierer is generally a man for whom any generous soldier would be sorry as he would for an honorable prisoner of war. What is a franc-tireur? A franc-tireur is a free man who fights to defend his own farm or family against foreign aggressors, but who does not happen to possess certain badges or articles of clothing. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details visit freekeen.com